This is Support is Sexy, episode 207. Watch what you say. Welcome to Support is Sexy. I'm your host, Elaine Fluker, entrepreneur, author, and founder of Chic Rebellion Media. Five days a week, Monday through Friday, I interview inspiring women entrepreneurs who share their wins and their lessons to help you take your business and your life to the next level and create something sexy. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Support is Sexy. I'm so excited to have you here because it just would not be the same without you. And today, you know, I was thinking a lot about conversations I've been having, especially conversations with my mastermind, the Create Something Sexy Mastermind, which I'm so excited about. The women who are in that group are fantastic. I can't wait to see what they create. But one of our recent conversations was just about mindset. And we've talked about mindset on the podcast before, so I know I don't have to go over mindset. We talked about a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset, the importance of adopting a growth mindset and all of those things, meaning things thinking that you're capable or able to continue to grow and evolve and to learn more beyond the talent that you presently have. You can grow into the things that you want to do, create the life you want, find out the resources and all of that stuff, have a growth mindset that you can make it happen. In a nutshell, that's what it means. But one of the things that came up in the group and in other conversations that I've been having is this idea really of being cautious or conscious of what you say. And I thought of not only what you say, but the voices that you listen to otherwise. Now, this is another thing that we've talked about on the podcast, the importance of listening to those whispers and drowning out or blocking out the inner critic, which is usually the louder voice. But it's come up again and again. And it's another reason that I wanted to bring it up again here and just remind you the importance of watching what you say. So when we talk about voices, you know, I would say the strongest usually voices that we have to be aware of and watch what these voices say are the voices in our head. Whether you admit it or not, we all have voices in our heads, whether we acknowledge them and admit that they're there or not. We have voices call the subconscious, always chatting to us, whether it's a critic or the voice that tells us you can do it, go for it. Why not? Why not you try it? Either way, the voices are usually there. What I want to remind you to do is be aware of what the voices are telling you, especially if they're leading you down a path where you're feeling like you're not enough or you're not capable of doing something or it's telling you some old story that's been in your mind from childhood that you're not even maybe not fully aware that you're bringing up these old injuries or these old triggers from childhood that make you feel like you're not able to do something today or to move forward from that incident, from that mess up, from that failure in your past to move forward in a different way. Pay attention that that voice is there, acknowledge that voice, but then have that part of you, that other voice, that growth mindset voice that says, no, you know what? I can do this. I've moved beyond whatever that failure is, or I made a mistake and this is what I learned from it. Or I know that I can do this because I'm not only brave, but I'm also resourceful and I will find out whatever I need to make this happen. So be aware and watch what you say to yourself. Be cautious of the way you talk to yourself. That's usually the voice. Well, I'll speak for myself. For me, that is the voice that can do me in before I even hear any outside chatter. Talking to myself or thinking to myself or talking myself out of something is usually the strongest um, adversary that I face in those times when I do feel afraid and those kinds of things. And I have to stand up to myself and talk myself through it. So I want you to pause for a moment and think about What are the things that you're saying to yourself? What is the message that you're sending to yourself? Whether it's through a voice or through your actions, you know, sometimes this, um, what's the word, self-destructive actions that we see people taking or we take ourselves, usually that's an illustration or acting out or sign of that the voice is telling them something about worthiness, that they're not worthy or enough, or that there's a need to do this other thing in order to make a point, make a statement, be seen. What is your voice telling you? Think about that. How are you speaking to yourself? Be conscious of that voice. Watch what you say. 
Another kind of voice that I want you to be aware of are the voices in your life. So again, we've talked on the podcast about the people around us. You know, we're all about support. Support is sexy. So we need good people, real people, positive and also honest people around us. But the thing is, and these are the conversations I've been having with people lately, Sometimes it's the people who love you the most and who really do mean well that can trip you up when you're trying to make something happen. So you have to watch what they say. If those people are saying things that are in some way steering you off the path that you know you're meant for, not if they're telling you to be cautious about something, some of that feedback might be good. But you want to be aware if people are sort of either trying to hold you back because of their own fears, whether that's parents, friends, sisters, brothers, whoever, whether they're holding you back because of their own fears or they're actually doubtful that you can make something happen. And again, these people may love you and care for you or not, but they may be people who love you and care for you and who maybe they want to see you win, but maybe not that much, or they're afraid that you're going to move on and leave them behind, or they're not really sure that you can make that thing happen and they don't want to see you get hurt. Whatever the reason, it really doesn't matter the reason, right? If you know they love you, fine. You still have to be aware and watch what they say. And it is really your responsibility to get around people who don't say those things, to get around people who have a different idea about who you are and what you're capable of, to get around people who are already doing the things that you want to do. We always say that, right? Get around people who are a few steps ahead of you in the things that you want to do. This way you can aspire and you can learn from what they're already doing or what they've already done. They can share with you their experiences so you don't have to make the same mistakes. But get around people who know it can be done or who believe you can do it, who speak life into the thing that you want to do and create, whatever those people look like. We've talked about mentors, hiring coaches, friends, mastermind groups, certainly get around people with the voice that tells you that you can do it, you can make it happen. So watch what people in your life say. And the last bit of voice is the powerful, powerful voice that you need to pay attention to, the voice from the universe, whether you call it God, spirit, that internal voice, a different kind of internal or divine voice, if that's something you believe in. Even if you don't quote unquote believe, I'm sure you've experienced moments where you feel like you're getting the same message over and over again, maybe in different spaces, and you just feel like somebody somewhere something maybe greater than yourself is trying to send you a message for me i call it god or i call it the universe sending me a message if i keep getting it over and over again honestly that is how i am led for most of these solo podcasts usually it's something that has come up again and again unless it's an experience or something i just went through i want to share and i find some kind of message or some insight in it in a way that i try to handle it and want to share it with you all but most of the things are because of conversations that I have and I keep hearing the message over and over or experiences and it keeps coming up over and over again or personal things that I'm going through or dealing with or trying to get through in my own life and it happens over and over and I know I can't be the only one. There's got to be at least two other people out there, right? You with me? Two other people who are going through what I'm going through. So I share it in that way. So for you, What are the voices outside of you, the voices in the universe that are coming in different ways, maybe even through people who don't know you? Maybe it's through the television, something you heard on the radio. You have to be very self-aware and very conscious and present to be able to hear these things. But what are these voices telling you? What is the message that you keep hearing again and again? Is something that you need to pay attention to. Now, this voice may be, hey, this is what you need to do. This is how you need to move forward or this is a message I'm bringing to you. Or that voice might be, hey, red flags, be aware of this thing, this person, this thing, this opportunity is not the right one for you. Only you know that. You have to assess that for yourself. But this is just, again, a reminder. Be aware, be present of things that keep coming up again and again. No need to be afraid of it. Be aware of it. Things come up again and again for a reason. And a lot of times we ignore those signs, those opportunities even that come up. You know, we miss a lot of opportunities like that too. You have to be aware of signs from the universe again and again, the voices. Watch what the voices say. 
All right, so I hope that makes sense for you all. Please let me know if it does. You know you can email me, Elaine at ElaineFluker.com. You can also contact me on social media at Elaine Fluker or at Support is Sexy. I always love hearing from you. I always try to respond. It might not be right away, but it's pretty close. I think I'm pretty good. So make sure you reach out to me. In the meantime, make sure you listen to the voices, the voices in your head, the voices in your life, and the voices in the universe. They're all trying to tell you something. Something. You be the judge of what they're trying to tell you, but I want you to be aware so you can move forward powerfully and clear about the direction that you're going in. All right. So thank you so much for listening. You know, I appreciate you. And for now, you know what to do. Go out there and create something sexy and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. <laughs>